Good morning. Mr. Murray, on June 7th, 2021, did you take this gun or any gun like it? and shoot your son Paul in the chest in the feed room at your property off Moselle Road? No, I did not. Mr. Murdy, did you take this gun or any gun like it and blow your son's brains out on June 7th or any day or any time? No, I did not. Mr. Murdy, did you take the 300 blackout? such as this, and fire it into your wife Maggie's leg, torso, or any part of her body? No, I did not. Did you shoot a 300 blackout into her head, causing her death? Mr. Griffin, I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time, ever. Mr. Murdoch, is that you? On the kennel video at 8.44 p.m. on June 7th, the night Maddie, Maggie and Paul were murdered. It is. Were you in fact at the kennels at 8.44 p.m. on the night Maggie and Paul were murdered? I was. Did you lie to Sled Agent Owen and Deputy Laura Rutland on the night of June 7th and told them that you stayed at the house after dinner? I did lie to them. Did you lie to Agent Owen and Agent Croft on the follow-up interview on June 10th that the last time you saw Maggie and Paul was at dinner? I did lie to them. And in the interview of August 11th, did you tell Agent Owen and Agent Croft, did you lie to them t by telling them that you were not down at the kennels on that night? Yes. Alec, why did you lie to Agent Owen, Agent Croft, and Deputy Rutland about the last time you saw Maggie and Paul? As my addiction evolved over time, I would get in these situations or circumstances where I would get paranoid thinking. Uh, it, and it, it could be anything that, that triggered it. It might be a look somebody gave me. It might be a reaction somebody had to something I did. Um, it might be a policeman following me in, in a car. Um, that night, June 7th, after finding Mags and Paul, Papa, don't talk to anybody without Danny with you. All my partners were just repeatedly telling me that. I had a deputy sheriff taking gunshot test from my hands. I'm sitting in a police car with David Owen asking me about my relationship with my wife and my son. And all those things coupled together after finding them, coupled with my distrust for SLED, caused me to have paranoid thoughts. Normally, when these paranoid thoughts would hit me, I could take a deep breath real quick and just think about it, reason my way through it, and just get past it really quickly. On June the 7th, I wasn't thinking clearly. I don't think I was capable of reason. And I lied about being down there. And I'm so sorry that I did. I'm sorry to my son Buster. I'm sorry to Grandma and Papa T.
I'm sorry to both of our families. Most of all, I'm sorry to Mags and Paul Paul. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt either one of them. Ever. Ever. Did, did you continue lying after that night? Did you not? But once I lied, I continued to lie, yes, sir. Why? You know, oh, what a tangled web we weave. But once I told a lie, I mean, I told my family I, I had to keep lying.